Well, I manage the museum's identification advisory service. Our sort of motto, I would always say, is we expect the unexpected. And here we have the beautiful gum from Burton. Oh. So we do get from members of the public, you know, jars of things brought into us, little match boxes perhaps, you know, and sometimes little jewellery boxes with their sort of finds in, and that sense our kind of treasure for them. Kind of certainly treasure for us. Not knowing what it is that we're going to find when we open it up is, is a very exciting part of the job. So we have you know, three examples of things which have been sent into us for inquiry. We have the Great British Stag Beetle, we have a Longhorn Beetle from Europe, and we have the fantastic Tube Web Spider. So the stag beetle is a, is a good British species and its, its distribution in the UK really is in the southeast of the, of the country. It's, it's our largest beetle. Um, the males with these large mandibles or antlers, um, a chestnut, chestnut wing case is there, the middle bit of the body, a blackish colour. It's the males usually you'll see flying, so usually end of May and the first week of June. They fly quite ably and they use these long legs and these sharp grappling hooks to catch on to foliage. They do look formidable creatures and uh, you know, fairly aggressive with those large mandibles. They can't really do much with them, just really give you a bit of a pinch. It can be a little bit shocking. This is a fantastic beetle. As much as anything else, it has some protective status in the UK at the moment because its numbers are declining. Um, but it's really a champion, really, of the group, beetles, and it's a champion of the kinds of sort of environment, the resources that it lives in. This beetle was given to us by a company that imports goods from Eastern Europe. So they expected that's where it came from, and that's very much where it did, not a British species. Immorimus asper is its name, and it's a very kind of robust longhorn beetle. Longhorn beetles are the group, otherwise known as timber beetles. It's another beetle whose larvae feed on wood um, for many years. And as adults, they characteristically have these long antennae and um, very strong mandibles as well. Uh, these guys really will give you a bit of a bite if you handle them roughly. The long antennae are actually full of chemical receptors, so males would use these to, to, to find females females will actually use them to find the right kind of wood that they need to lay their eggs in so their larvae can develop. These are fantastic insects. Um, they almost look like a little clockwork toy. So it's a Mediterranean spider, um, which was introduced into the UK with trade. So all the stuff coming into docks and ports, particularly in the eastern and the western docks. Its habitat, it makes its web in sort of cracks and crevices in, could be fence panels, it could be walls, it could be stonework. And it finds a suitable crevice and it lines this crevice then with a tube of silk, hence the tube web spider. So it lives within this tube and at night you usually see them at dusk with the legs hanging out of this tube. Um, it anchors itself in there and there are little threads coming out, radiating out from the hole it's in. And it attaches a sort of leg to each one of those threads and that allows it to detect any other insects, beetles, moths that may be sort of wandering over that wall at night. When it detects one, it rushes out quite quickly and it's got quite strong, almost sort of raptorial legs and it'll grab these insects, moths, beetles, whatever they are, haul them back into its tube where they're then sort of in its sort of death grip if you like and it feeds on those quite slowly. It's one of three tube web spiders in the UK but this is the only introduced one and characteristic of this species on the front of the chelicerae, which hold the fangs, this lovely green iridescence that shines in particularly strong sunlight like today, but also if you shine torches at them at night. It's certainly a strong uh, a sort of spider, robust spider. And spiders like this, you wouldn't necessarily pick up. Um, people that have picked them up occasionally get bitten. It's got quite a strong bite. It gives it quite freely. There's no great ensuing pain afterwards. Um, and the venom doesn't seem to have any great effect on us. But it's certainly a shocking bite, and certainly shocking to be bitten by it. I think this is a fantastic spider. Um, just goes to show that our fauna is constantly changing. Species that once lived in the Mediterranean now establish themselves in the UK.